Why are there so many pigeons? Pigeons as we know today are said to have descended from a wild creature known as the rock dove. It is believed that about 10,000 years ago, people began domesticating as well as breeding rock doves primarily for food. Over time, people realized that pigeons had excellent navigational skills. Pigeons started being used to guide lost ships towards land as well as to carry messages over long distances. Eventually, instead of looking at pigeons as a food source, people started breeding them as a hobby. Hmm. What is the cause of birthmarks? Birthmarks are colored marks on our skin which are present at birth or appear shortly afterwards. Birthmarks are of two types, vascular and pigmented. Vascular birthmarks are caused when a lot of blood vessels clump together, or they are stretched wider than usual. Pigmented birthmarks are generally caused when cells called melanocytes grow together in clusters. Birthmarks may also be inherited sometimes, and some of them may be similar to marks on other family members. Mm. Huh? Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Mm. How can some people predict rain? Simple, by calling the clouds. Oh, um, some. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. <laughs> hmm. Can blind people huh? dream? Not just blind people, even zombies can dream. Oh, I'm some. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. Hmm. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since huh? birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. 